I recently came across this super cool Jordan Belfort yellow style animation that has that viral real potential. This is the animation we're going to recreate. Credits to Zaki S MMA who uploaded it to Pinterest. And in order to create this animation, I divide the process into four simple steps. So first one is going to be creating the background right here. The second one will be finding and adjusting the image of Jordan Belfort. The third step will be creating the glowing circle icon behind Jordan Belfort. And the fourth step will be adding the text and creating the animations. So let's start off by creating a new solid. Solid, hit OK. Now let's search up the grid effect right here. Drag it over onto that black solid. We'll search up for the motion tile effect. Drag it over onto that black solid. Click the stopwatch icon next to title center in order to enable keyframing. Go to the end of this animation and decrease the second value right here just like so. Plus, I'm also going to enable motion blur for this. Next up, let's introduce the Gaussian blur effect. Drag it over onto that layer once again and increase the blurriness to something around 7, okay? Now we're going to search for the vignette effect. Select the center of our vignette, so it's going to be right here. Next, let's leave the noise at 8%, but we'll need to increase the amount 120-ish, okay? One more thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the color of the grid to a very sort of subtle gray. Next, we're going to search for the warp effect, drag it over onto the black solid, scroll down a little bit, change the warp style to inflate, and set the bend to something around 15. That was the first step. Now let's move on to step number two. Go to an AI image upscaler and let's upscale that image because it's slightly low quality. So let's fix that. Let's just drag over the image right here. And bam, here's the upscaled version of Leo DiCaprio. Let's download it because I'm just going to use the Adobe Express background remover. Drag it over into the website. Bam, we've got the back. And now I can just click download the After Effects, drag over that file into the timeline to scale the image up a little bit. And I'm going to reposition, apply Lumetri color to that image, drag it over onto that image. We do basic correction and decrease the saturation to zero. So this was step two. We found and adjusted the image. Now let's move on to step number three which is going to be creating the glowing circle, okay? Go to After Effects, select the Ellipse tool right here, and now click on to Fill Options and select the Radial Gradient. I'm going to create this sort of circle. I'm going to bring it behind our character, Fill Color, select this color stop on the left, and set it to a very sort of bright and a vibrant yellow. Now select the color stop on the right and set it to a little bit darker version of yellow, maybe even a little bit orangey yellow. Now I'm just going to quickly disable the image of Jordan Belfort. If I pull it to the right, it's going to expand. Now I'm just going to enable the layer with Leo DiCaprio back again. I'm going to duplicate the shape layer behind him and I'm going to search for the glow effect. Drag it over onto that layer below the original circle. We're going to set the glow threshold to something around three, glow radius to like, I don't know, 300, and the glow intensity to something around 100. That's not all yet, because we're going to look for the luminary color effect, drag it over onto that same layer below the original circle, get a basic correction, increase the temperature to something around, I don't know, like 45, and decrease the exposure to something around like minus 0.8, okay? Now we are left with a nice glow effect behind the circle. Okay, so we have this circle created. Now let's move on to step number four, which is going to be creating the text or adding the text and adding the animations. Just a quick reminder for you guys, you can receive the After Effects project file we are working on today completely for free by subscribing to my newsletter. Read the instructions in the pinned comment down below. First, we need to identify the font. So it's right here. And the font is called Bacla Extra Expanded. And I use Adobe Fonts Visual Search option, which really helps me speed up the process. Create a text layer to center it. And now I'm just going to add a shadow to that text. So drop shadow. And so we're going to duplicate 
okay, this drop shadow effect twice, so let's just, the first one will be like, I don't know, like 80% of opacity and just a little bit of softness, like 20-ish, and the second shadow layer will be around 60%, and the softness will be something around 60 -ish. It is necessary, because now if I copy this, and I create the second text layer, you can see that the shadow plays a crucial role in sort of adding depth between the word success and the word in. I'm actually going to increase the shadow opacity a little bit more. Now the next word is going to be branding. P for position and let's bring it up slightly. Gradient right here. Select the start of the ramp around here. And so the start color will be white and the end color will be like a sort of dark yellow. An important thing to notice is that we need to bring the gradient ramp effect above those two drop shadow effects. Okay, now if I zoom in, let's choose a more orangey color. Let's change the color slightly, something like this. So let's just create a text layer. Let's rename it to Siegscript Regular. That's the font we want to use. And I'm just going to copy the shadow effects that we applied to all of the text layers and we're just going to paste it onto that white text layer as well. Now one more thing we need to do is I'm just going to bring it down a little bit. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to expand this. I'm going to go to text, hold left alt on my keyboard, and I'm going to click this stopwatch right here. And I've got this sort of code prepared in chat GPT for a typewriter effect. So let's paste it in right here. Now another animation that we need to correct is the one in the background actually because it's a little bit too quick. So Let's go to the motion tile. Let's go to the last keyframe in the motion tile section. And let's adjust the tile center to maybe something around 50 or 60. Now, if I play this back, it should be definitely a little bit slower. And next up, I'm going to pre-compose the circle and the glow behind it. Control Shift C, enter. And now we're going to go right here and want it to be a little bit bigger. I'm going to enable keyframing for scale. I'm going to bring out the current keyframe. I want it to be slightly bigger. So something like this, F9 in order to, and let's create this sort of hill shape. Maybe let's bring those a little bit closer to each other. Okay, now let's move on to Leo DiCaprio. Let's expand this, let's go to transform. Let's move out this keyframe at this moment and let's bring the character to somewhere around, okay. F9 in order to make this smoother. Enable motion blur for this. Opacity, move this out. At the beginning, we want it to be at zero. Go to transform. Let's enable keyframing for position. Bring this out to the right. Bam. Let's move this out a little bit further in time. And now it's time for the word branding. So Let's move it out a little bit further in time, somewhere around here. Let's enable keyframing for scale, bring this out. And at the beginning, we want it to be bigger. Keyframe the position here, move it to the center. Hit F9 while having those keyframes selected. Enable motion blur, go to the graph editor. Adjustments similar to each other. Bam. Super cool. That's it guys. Thank you very much for watching this video and make sure to check out this video if you find it interesting or potentially valuable.